Hey, my name is Brie. I love Harry Potter. Hey, so I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine in the morning. So I'm going to be using the La Roche Posay Tolerine Hydrating Gentle Cleanser very gentle. Um, this bottle is 13.52 fluid ounces and it was about $16. Lasts for 12 months and it's for normal to dry skin types including sensitive skin. I have oily combination skin but because it's winter I like to use more hydrating cleansing products because my skin tends to get very dry around this time. Then I'm going to be going in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic 2% plus B5 serum, like this. This is very, very moisturizing for me. And I usually like using this during the day because sometimes the moisturizer that I use isn't moisturizing enough. So typically I use the Basia Chia Seed moisturizer, but today I'm going to be using the Sense 92 Body Cream. This is a multi-use cream. I did a review on it on my blog, so I'll have that link down below. I've actually never used it on my face before, so this will be the first time. And this can be used on your face uh, because it is multi-use and it's unscented and it's made for sensitive skin types, especially if you have eczema. So first thing I'm going to do is wash my face. Well, wash my hands. breaking out a little bit on the right side of my face. Not sure why. And I was breaking out down here because of hormones. And then this side, I like hardly break out. And then of course I'm breaking out up here, hairline. I don't know what she doing. I don't know what she doing, but she need to chill. So you always want to apply hyaluronic acid serum on damp skin because it helps make sure that the product is soaking in. So I take about a couple pumps. I don't know if you call it a pump or a drop, three drops, and I just Pat it over and I use it on my neck too. Just keep patting it in until it's fully absorbed. I have a lot of texture on my skin. And 
not so much this side, but you can probably see. It's very rare where my skin is like completely clear. As someone with acne prone, oily combination skin. So I did have just really oily skin and it's kind of evolved throughout 2020. So like, it's like very oily cheeks and like my T-zone and then like here, it'll be dry. The edges, it'll be dry. And then sometimes my cheeks will switch and then be dry. So that's fun. So I'm going to be going in with my cream. This is a vegan product. I think I put a little too much on. And so for this product, you really have to rub it in. And I definitely put too much. I'm just gonna add it to my hands. And this is what I put on my, I wonder if I can make it so that the ring light doesn't like block it out. This is what I put on my lips. It is a Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter, Nourish and Renew, made with shea butter and rosehip oil. And that is pretty much my morning routine. So I'm going to be getting some work done. I need to, first I need to put some lotion on. Cause them hands dry, girl. Um, but I'm going to clean my room cause it needs it. Um, and I'm gonna show you because we wanna keep it real real here. And I know you can see my ring light. It's like a little baby ring light, you know. Anyways, um, I'm going to get some work done and I'm going to clean my room because it needs it. And I have a lot of things to do for my blog. I've been um, correlating and planning like content for 2021. So I'm trying to have like 52 posts completed by the new year. That's a lot, but it's not going to be published yet. It's just to be pre-published for 2021 so hopefully we'll see how that goes um i have like a bunch of ideas so that's great um that's a good start and i'm really excited about the ideas and especially because i've recently gotten some affiliate links to add to my blog so support your girl you know support um but obviously i'm not going to be well, I probably still review products that I don't like. I'm really out of breath and I don't know why. Um, but I will review products and I will be completely honest about them because you know I will be. Um, and oh, speaking of, my hair is still straight by the way, but it's like in two very terrible looking braids. So because my mom wouldn't braid my hair for me and I can't braid my own hair. So I tried it myself and failed. And I should have just did like a flat twist. But you know, practice makes perfect. But um, I've been using this for about a week or more. About a week? No, it hasn't been a week yet. Tomorrow will be a week. So I've been using this for about six days. And I really like it. It's um, the only problem is, is that it's like 3.7 ounces and I feel like 
<laughs> I feel like this is gonna run out by the time I straighten my hair again. Um, but it's great for fine or oily hair and I have very fine hair. I don't really have oily hair. I guess it, it just depends on your perspective, but this is a dry shampoo with no residue. And I did a little mini review on my Instagram. So if you're interested in knowing what my thoughts were, you can go ahead and click that link below for my Instagram. You should be following me. It's at the wandering rose underscore, but it's an individual spray and refreshes roots. It's very nice because it doesn't leave any residue on your hair, especially if you have black hair. But my hair is not like fully black. It's like really, really dark brown, so it looks black, but that's besides the point. All right, let me show you this room. So this is what it's looking like. And it just needs to be cleaned. Like I have stuff here in the corner. I got my heater going cause it code. I need to vacuum. Um, I need to make my bed. And usually I do, I make my bed in the morning before I like, you know, leave my room. But lately I just haven't been, you know, doing it. Haven't been feeling it. And then I don't really have laundry to do but I do need to like dust cause she looking a little dusty and I need to like wipe down my mirror. This is my little ring light. Um, this is the ring light that's gonna have to do until I can get one that is like bigger and like stands on a stand like this, like this little, can you see the tripod? Yeah. So I actually got, where did I get this from? I think I got it from Amazon. Um, but, and I think I got this from Amazon too, but you know, you make do with what you can do. And I've actually never used this ring light except to take like selfies. So I was like, Hey, maybe I should try it while recording and see if it makes a difference. I don't know if it does besides the fact that you can see it in my glasses, but Hey, if I'm doing like makeup videos or this, this tripod is actually too short, so. But if I'm doing makeup videos or hair videos, then it might be okay. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and clean my room now. Ooh, I gotta show you something. Yeah, I never seen my Harry Potter blanket, have you? It says Wingardium Leviosa. But I really like it because I love Harry Potter. You, If you've been following me on my blog, Instagram, or if you know me personally, then you already know this. If you don't, hey, my name is Brie. I love Harry Potter. That's it. vlog yesterday so but I didn't really do anything I just went to the gym and I what else did I do oh I picked up some products from Sephora so I did like the in-store pickup um so I was like in and out because he wasn't doing that and I would have ordered it but then I didn't want to have to wait 
to moisturize my face because I have a habit of waiting. Well, I don't really have a habit, but I've been trying to make it a habit to wait to buy things until I actually need it, um, which is helpful because then it makes me spend less money. But then it sometimes can be frustrating around these times where everything's backed up you know being sent through the mail which i completely understand but it's just i didn't have time to wait however long to receive moisturizer so had to do that um as you can see my bed is not made i don't know this week has been interesting i have woken up probably at 5 30 a.m for like every single day and i haven't been going to sleep until 2 like 1 30 or 2 so I've been getting like maybe four hours of sleep <laughs> um so yeah I just had a cap uh, not a cappuccino I had a latte with oat milk it's really good vanilla oat milk from Chobani so if you've seen my previous vlogs um in a in a previous vlog I did do a like I just showed you guys how I make my lattes at home because we have a latte maker and I've also done it on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what you doing? Um, but I am making a plan today to get things, things done. I'm taking a couple of Scarecer classes. Let me just move this. I'm trying like a middle part here. My hair is so dirty, like look at this. And it needs to be, it needs to be cleaned. This is like one of those days where I just did not wash my face when I immediately got up because I was tired. Um, but let me show you what I got. So typically I use this to moisturize my face and I really like it. It's very good, um, but it's a little too moisturizing. It's been making my face really oily lately, so. And it's not because my skin barrier, because my skin barrier is actually pretty healthy right now. It's balanced, pH balanced, and um, I don't know. So um, if you, um, obviously you saw it earlier when I was washing my face um, a, a day or so ago. Well, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, I think. Um, so I got this Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with morning Moringa and Papaya. So I had previously tried the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer um, and I liked it and it's lightweight, but I think that it has oil in it or something because it was still managing to make my skin oily. So, but I mean, I liked it. I like Pharmacy. They're a really good brand and they're clean. So I was like, wow, I really want to try this because I had first tried the um, cleansing balm. I don't really like that. The cleansing balm was balm. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, but so I'm really excited to try this because there's an esthetician that I follow on Instagram and I'll link her profile down below. Um, she's going to be inactive until 2021 but because she's just taking a break, which I recommend everybody do. Um, but I really like her. I've been trying to follow more black estheticians. Well, I mean, I've always followed black estheticians, but like supporting them more because I also wasn't very active on Instagram for a while either. Um, but she suggests this, so I'm using it. And then I tried the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid, if you're interested. And um, hearing my thoughts, then I will link that blog post down below. And I have this from The Ordinary, which you guys saw, Hyaluronic Acid and B5. I really like this because it like moisturized my skin, but in combination with this, I think it's just too moisturizing. And even with just this, somehow my skin is still getting long, rosy. So, but I'm keeping this for my empties video at the end of the year. And I bought this like two years ago and I'm just now getting to the end of it. Like there was a lot of product in here. Like it was so much product in here that I was like here, passing it to my brother and my sister to use. Like, 
like somebody need to help me finish this <laughs> also i have this from the ordinary it is 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil so my friend jasmine um who also has a youtube page but she hasn't been active on there in quite a while um i'll link it down below she suggested that i use rose hip oil for my dark spots um, which seems to really help and i also know that like when i use it my skin is very glowy too so i'm gonna keep using it but i just wanted to show you my skin today since i showed you it in the a couple days ago and here as you see i'm not breaking out as bad as i was and I can feel a new pimple coming in. Oh, and I like all of those other products. I didn't just pick up. I only just picked up this and sorry, I got my Harry Potter blanket on. This, which is also something that um, Mish recommended to me, so. This is also something that the esthetician recommended to me. Um, I am acne prone. I'm gonna be acne prone till I'm not. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I'm going to clean out my cup because I don't want it to stain. And I actually like remember when I said that I was gonna clean my room, all I really did was like make my bed. Um, I didn't really like dust or anything so that's probably what i'm going to do today is i'm probably going to dust and vacuum and you guys can watch me watch me clean hashtag watch me clean with me hashtag okay <laughs> um also i have a couple of books that i'm going to read so this is called the body keeps the score and it is by a dr bessel colk i don't know if i'm saying that right but my friend let me borrow this so I'm excited to read it. I'm probably gonna have to use like an audio book to read along with me because I just have so much trouble reading nonfiction books. For some reason, it's just like any informative book, like anything that's not like fiction, it's just really hard for me to read unless it's like poetry. So I always need to read it alongside some type of audio book because it makes it feel better. I don't know. And it makes me feel like I'm actually retaining the information instead of just like mindlessly reading, if that makes sense. If you read books, you know what I'm talking about. And then um, I'm also excited to read this. It's called A Long Way Gone, Memoirs of a Boy Soldier by Ishmael Bea. And I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, but this is what it's called. And it's been on my Goodreads to read list for quite a while. So it needs to get read. This is actually my sister's copy, so I'm like, wow, if she's reading it, then it must be good because she doesn't read. <laughs> JK, she does sometimes. Um, so I guess I'm going to do my laundry. I need to like wash my sheets and stuff. So this is like a great time to go ahead and shower and, you know, get some things done. Um, I was going to revert my hair back today but i'm actually gonna film like some hairstyle videos with my straight hair so i probably won't do that today um and i also i believe i've said this already too is like i want to use my mom's shower to show you guys when i revert my hair because her shower is better it's like a stand-up shower it doesn't like have a tub so it's better for me to film and also like the water doesn't splash everywhere <laughs> with because there's like a curtain open for my shower so and yes, yes, I do still live with my mother. I will probably live with her until she kicks me out because it saves money for one and two, you should spend as much time with your parents as you can, especially during this time. Um, so yeah, that is what we are about to do today. And then I'm gonna also clean. I need to like organize some things and then I was going to take some old board games back to, um, well not back to you, but to have price books to sell. And like I have such trouble parting with my books because I'm always like, well what if I want to reread it? Like you know I read it before like years and years ago and like somehow in my brain I'm thinking, oh 
10, 15 years later, when you haven't read this book in that long, you're gonna wanna reread it. And like, it's just not the reality. But like right now with like the time that I have to read, I'm just like, well, maybe I should actually just reread it before I send it back, you know? Because then what if I really wanna read it again? And I don't like eBooks. So, but I have like this um, app called Libby and it's like you can use your library card to borrow books. You borrow ebooks and audiobooks from Libby. So it's like a whole system. I love Libby. So I highly recommend that you guys try that out. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned Libby several times throughout my blogs. <laughs> if y'all ain't reading it, what you doing? What you doing? But that is where I am at this point in my life and i'll probably do my makeup and stuff after i take a shower it's like currently 12 33 and i woke up at like well i woke up at 5 30 and then i attempted to go back to sleep and i i think i fell asleep at like seven and i woke back up at like nine and then i laid in bed for like an hour and a half and then got up brush my teeth, eat breakfast, and now it's 12.33 and I need to shower. I need to, um, I'm probably going to brush my teeth again because I just ate. And I need to do this video so that I can finally, finally see my curly hair again because I miss you, girl. I miss you. Where'd you go? Um, and clean. That's it. Maybe I should clean first and then shower because like, you know, cleaning makes you sweaty decisions but I might go to the gym Let's, just let me ask just one moment please are you really gonna go to the gym are you <laughs> this this is what I have to ask myself how do you feel about this middle part I don't know I'm not used to a middle part especially with straight hair like I feel like every time I've ever straightened my hair it's been like a side part so that's interesting I wanted my mom to braid my hair so that I could have some waves some little wavy hair but she didn't do that so. and I can't braid my own hair I know I revoke my black card I can braid other people's hair I just can't braid my own <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and get ready so that I can film this video and then get cleaning and then we'll see about the rest. Hi, <laughs> I am back in the bed. <laughs> I just washed my face and I use the pharmacy greens oil-free moisturizer and my skin feels pretty good I put some SPF on after it I feel like sometimes the SPF is what makes my skin oily because it's matte but like my skin is oily like it's oily combo but it's majorly oily like sometimes it has dry spots for for the most part it's oily so we'll see how it goes That was a sigh of like, I still have to get up and do things, but I just don't want to, I'm gonna be lazy. But like I was lazy yesterday for the most part. Like I still got some stuff done, but like for the most part I was lazy. So I guess I can't be lazy today, even though I'm like still exhausted. Probably cause I only had like four hours of sleep. I mean, I guess if you break it up, you can count it all together, right? I don't know. Okay, so I just had to kill the spider by myself because my brother's not gonna do it. And I'm just like, what were you born for if not to kill the spiders? Okay, so I just finished my 
reel for Instagram. And I did a how to cover your dark spots with only concealer. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, now my hair is like a hot mess. Um, but that's what I did. I don't know how to fix this. Um, but that's the reel that I did. And I like the audios off a little bit on the reel, but it's my second time making a reel. So, and I was like on TikTok for two seconds and then deleted TikTok. So <laughs> like my profile is still there. I just don't have TikTok on my phone. One, because it takes up so much space. And two, I like, don't need it because Instagram has reels, which I guess was the point <laughs> of Instagram getting reels. Um, but I'm about to do my hair video now. I am running low on sunlight. It is 3.43 p.m. and 3.43, yeah, 3.43. And I mean, there isn't really any sunlight. Like if I turned off the light right now, it's dark. Why does it get dark so late in the day? <laughs> well, I guess so early in the day it gets dark. That's what I meant to say. You you know what I meant. Um, but I'm trying to see how I can start um, adding captions to my videos. Um, it, it is definitely going to be hard, but I want to make sure that at least I attempt to make the content accessible for people who are deaf and want to watch me. Um, because I, I just feel like that's important. If your work is not accessible, am I saying that word right? Yes, if your work is not accessible, then accessible. I don't know, you know what I mean. But <laughs> if it's not like able to be watched by everyone, then honestly, I am about to do this hair video and then this is probably the last day you're gonna see these locks straight, okay? Because homegirl miss her curly hair I mean it's nice because like I don't really have to do much to my straight hair besides like brush it and sometimes wrap it before I go to bed but I don't know I tried to make it last as long as I could it's dirty it's itchy it needs to go um I like use that um waterless dry shampoo and that does help with the itchiness and like the hair but it doesn't help with the flaking at all so they also have like a conditioner um for that same brand waterless they have like a can spray conditioner that you can use on your scalp um but obviously i didn't get that and i'm not about to because i'm not gonna have this hair tomorrow so um but don't worry i will record and show you guys how my hair reverts back um if it doesn't revert back the way that it was before obviously because i put heat in it so these are the chances that you take when you do these things hair will grow back and i think that's like the most important lesson of the day um so in my tiktok i use this giorgio armani concealer it is power fabric 12. gosh it's like so small i can't even see it and i don't have my glasses on Yeah, well, um, this like matches my skin tone a little bit better than the Fenty one. This is like a little bit more for highlight. So like, this is 390. So this is like a couple more brighter than my skin tone in the Fenty foundation. My Fenty foundation is 410. Um, so I use this for brightening. Well, under the eye. I, I feel I also saw something about brightening and saying like brightening in terms of like skin tone and I don't know what to say for under the eye I guess because that's technically what it does but I agree with that thread I saw this thread on Instagram and on Twitter um, it's by beauty for brown skin so if you don't follow her on Instagram first of all what you doing um, but she was like one of the people that helped pick um, all of the black skincare enthusiasts for the Paula Choice um, Influencer on the Rise program. 
I applied, but I did not make it. So it's okay next year. Um, but what was I going to do? Oh yeah, hair. And then we'll be done. But I, I like this natural look, you know, like, I just cover my dark spots a little bit and you can't really see them. And I didn't put powder over it or anything. I mean, that's usually what I do, but powder kind of accentuates texture and I have a lot of texture right now. So I'm gonna just, you know, because I'm also on a camera so you can't really see the texture unless I'm up here like this. Hi. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I'm gonna do this video real quick for my hairstyle so that I can rest for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. Um, so I helped my mom finish dinner. She broiled some chicken and I tore it up so that we could make chicken and rice and that's what we had for dinner. Um, I don't know why my camera's so foggy probably the lighting um and now I'm making more tea I had what did I have lemon ginger lemon ginger tea and then I put extra lemons in it I did that because why not and I wanted to make more tea, so that's why the teapot's on. I just cleaned the kitchen. It was my day to clean, so I did that. And now I'm just gonna finish this vlog that I was watching. I'm like finishing up Arnell's um, blog or vlog <laughs> she's doing vlogmas and she was just talking about how she shouldn't feel pressured to um, put out content if she needs a break and I completely agree but yeah so um, I'm gonna finish the vlog here so thank you guys so much for tuning in if you liked it thumbs it up if you like me go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Wondering Rose underscore. Everything will be listed down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the weekend. And I'll see you next time.